Welcome Sagittarius. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, guys. So we're going to take a look to see what energy is coming towards you. This is going to be a general read, guys, so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay, so if it does happen to resonate, great. It was for you. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the like button and share with your family and your friends as well as comment below. If you're new, click the bell to subscribe because you don't want to miss out, okay, on future videos. Um, as well, guys, you can check out my merchandise. Um, it's below the video, and if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is going to be in the drop box below, okay? So, Sagittarius, let's talk. Let's see what's coming for mid-month. Mid-month in the energy for my Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what energy is coming for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Thank you. All right, so we have um, soulmate. So, and at the bottom of the deck, we got big dreams. <laughs> we got big dreams, okay? We've got deception here as well. We got deception here. So there could be some deception going on, but your 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 mind is set like you have this dream of meeting your soulmate. Or see, we got victim. Somebody here is a victim, and then we got fresh start. But see, there's definitely some third party energy going on, okay? And somebody has made an offer. Somebody is making an offer. Are you making this offer? <laughs> Somebody's making an offer. A third party could most definitely be involved. I've seen deception and third party, so I'm definitely getting, you know, three-way vibes here, okay? But I feel like somebody here is playing the victim. Somebody here is playing the victim role here. Somebody is playing the victim role. But it does look like a fresh start is coming in the, you know, in the future, okay? But what I don't like is this victim role here. Somebody here is a victim in a situation, okay? I actually want to go ahead and, and clarify these. I normally wait until the end of the reading, but I want to go ahead and clarify these. Why is soulmate here for my Sagittarius? Okay, for some of you guys, somebody's here is possibly married. I got the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus's energy as well as Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this is very much so long term. Okay, someone's finances and legacy and building wealth. Okay, so you're you're thinking about the future. I'm getting future energy. Okay, so yeah, see, we got the Three of Wands. All right, so you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting on your soulmate. Possibly for a long time. With the world card here, this person could live at a distance from you. And look at you, King of Wands and the Page of Wands. So I'm going to put this out there too. Some of y'all may be married, but you feel like... This person could possibly not be your soulmate, so a third party has joined in, okay? I want to see why victim is here. Some of you want to get married to your soulmate, too. I see that as well, but someone here is being a victim. Somebody, I'm getting, I'm getting this, okay, two of swords. So maybe you don't want to um, be the victim or play the victim because I got the strength card here, Leo's energy. But I, I see that you're being confident, okay? You're, the way you're moving, you're moving in a very confident way. Like you don't want to come off as a victim. So you may be working on your confidence levels, okay? Let's see why Fresh Start is here. 
Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's a new beginning. A new beginning in love, emotions, feelings. There is a new. Yeah, see, we got the Temperance card. All right. Which is Sagittarius' is energy in the Ace of Cups. There is a new start in love, okay? You got to make up your mind first, okay? I feel like some of you do. Some of you are married, or some of you guys want a marriage, but I feel like <laughs> for some of you, for some of you, you're already in a third party situation. You've already involved someone else. Okay, so. I'm getting as well. I'm hearing like your dream is to be married and to build wealth and legacy. Um, and I feel like for some of you guys, that's a, a big dream for you. And let's see what message, because I got quite a few stories from that, from those cards. So let's see what messages we have. We got the moon, Cancer's energy, as well as um, Pisces. But I got you guys keeping something a secret. Okay. Queen of Wands, there she goes. There she goes. The world. Okay, yeah, you're keeping this hidden from everybody. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Someone is very spoiled. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is spoiled financially. You possibly are offering, giving this person the world. Okay, see, look, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. You regret regret waiting so long? Because I got the Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and I, a lot of y'all are getting nervous, okay? Past energy. We got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe you feel as if someone is going to cut you off or you've cut somebody off. But I got the seven of wands. Some of y'all are afraid to stand your ground. Some of y'all are afraid to stand your ground or, you know, you may come off as, you know, playing like the victim role. And I'm getting that a lot of y'all don't want to come off as like you're playing, you're being a victim. What's, what's the future energy? The Hierophant, Taurus is energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, but this is also like, you know, um, a pastor or this is also, this is like the Pope. Okay, so this is morals, things that are done by the book, a traditional way of doing things. Okay, I see you getting a lot of recognition. I got the page of swords and the six of wands. So a lot of people are looking at you. Um, so a lot of people are looking at you like you got a lot of eyes on you Okay, lots of eyes on you in the near future Give me, How does Sagittarius feel? Hierophant is also a commitment and possibly even marriage. Okay, I feel like you feel burdened by this situation Yeah, you feel burdened. I got the ten of wands. You feel burnt out Feel burnt out Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you guys' this energy. But you really do care about this person with this Ace of Cups. You want this person to talk to you and you want to talk to this person. You want to open up. Like, yeah, you want to talk. You want to have an open conversation. I feel like you want to resolve some issues. Okay. But some of y'all just feel like this person is hiding from you or is distant. Okay. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio with the Queen of Cups here. Okay. How do they view you? And that's seven of cups. So they could be confused or they feel like you got other obligations or other options, okay? And they also feel like they've given you multitude a multitude of chances. With the four of pentacles and the wheel of fortune, this is like, you know, there's constant chances. Like someone's constantly giving you chances, okay? What are your hopes and fears? 
I got the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. This is on your mind. Like, you are constantly thinking about this. This possibly is, you're possibly losing sleep over this. Like, you're worried, okay? Queen of Cups keeps revealing itself. And the, her and the Hermit, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I got the Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. What's the outcome of this situation? The magician. So you're going to be manifesting something. Look at this. The lovers. You really do care about this person. Um, somebody here, you're looking at your finances. Okay. You're looking at your finances with the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. And maybe feeling like, you know, you don't have enough, but you're going to try to make something happen here with this magician. Okay, you're going to try to make something happen. You're going to try to make something shake. Because I feel like you really love this person. You don't want to lose this person. Why is the magician here? Yeah, Knight of Cups, okay? That's an offer, okay? So you, you, you're going to be making some type of offer. Okay, and it could be involving a cancer, a queen of pentacles, but I'm getting that somebody is hella spoiled, okay? Hella, hella, hella spoiled. Yes. Why is the heart in here? Five of swords. Somebody has commitment issues. You possibly have commitment issues. Ace of wands. Somebody, I'm getting that like there's some issues that definitely needs to be panned out, Sagittarius. You're waiting for something new. Why is the Ten of Wands here? You feel burnt out, though. Yeah, see, for some of you, this is a community or this is a family unit. And this is also marriage, okay? So you're feeling burnt out. Like, it's a lot going on around you with the Three of Cups. The emperor, someone's father could be involved or an older person here. Why is the four of wands here? You feel burnt out, okay? Yeah, six of cups. Could be children. Um, You know, just feeling burdened with the six of cups, okay? Six of cups. You feeling tired, see? Like, I'm getting like you guys are feeling burnt out, tired, okay? It's a lot of moving around with the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. There's lots of moving around, like hasty movement. Emperor. Why is the Knight of Cups? I feel like you're getting ready to make some type of offer. Yeah. Once you get something, you're going to give somebody some type. You're going to give somebody something. With the Six of Pentacles, you're giving somebody something. Okay? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, you're trying to keep somebody happy. Four of Pentacles and the Sun. Okay, so you're trying to keep somebody happy. Keep a smile on somebody's face. Okay, you're trying to keep a smile on this person's face. You you absolutely wholeheartedly love this person. Like the way you'll do whatever needs to be done to keep this keep this going. But I still feel like there's some secret here. Why is the Moon card here? The cherry. Okay, so some of y'all are dealing with the cancer. But you're kind of like moving in silence. I'm getting that. Ooh, high Priestess wanted to reveal itself. Yeah, you keep trying to balance this out. You're trying to keep this balance, trying to keep this afloat. Why is the chariot card here? Tower, I'm getting a surprise. I'm getting a surprise. Yeah, see, you're making future plans. Okay, you're trying to surprise somebody in the future with something. Hmm, why is the world card here? Queen of Pentacles, like I said. Somebody's spoiled as hell, okay? Are you dealing with the Virgo Taurus or Capricorn? But somebody is real, real spoiled. Y'all spoiling somebody. <laughs> Y'all are spoiling somebody. Y'all giving everything that y'all got, and it's burning you out because you got the Ten of Wands here. Y'all are kind of burnt out by this situation, but you're doing it to keep to keep somebody happy. 
Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, all right? I will chat with y'all later. Bye.